This very cute clip shows my very cute cat chasing and several times catching his own tail. Thick or what? Now, a lot of people look at animals chasing their own tails and think, this just doesn't make sense. Like, how does this being not realise that the tail is attached to itself? It's absolutely crazy. But then again, animals are. I mean, look at the size of his head. Logic alone tells us that that is a rather small head. I would measure it and tell you the exact size, but last time I tried measuring anything to do with him, I kind of ended up being bitten on the face. What I'm trying to say is that a head as small as that cannot really fit a particularly large brain inside of it. And just like a small memory stick, as a result, can't fit much info in it. That's why animals are thick. That's why he catches his tail in between his teeth, yet just 30 seconds later starts chasing the thing again. This small clip of a very cute cat isn't just a great example of logic and facts and the simple rule that what you see is what you get, but it's also a great metaphor of Asperger's and how Asperger's related outbursts take place. Now, this is probably best shown in a flowchart or a comparison table, so I'm going to upload this script slash piece as a written blog too, and it will be accompanied by those diagrams. So, here we go. I previously mentioned my switch that gets flicked. Well, Dennis has one too. I start pacing, he starts chasing. I then get annoyed and start stressing, he also gets annoyed but starts wagging. I notice I'm being stupid, he notices this is an orange thing, wagging. I start stressing even more because I'm annoyed at myself and want to stop. He starts chasing this orange thing because he wants it to stop. I think the issue is Craig. He thinks it's some kind of random orange fluffy duster. Where's the difference? That is how the world turns, through a never-ending list of chain reactions and metaphor metaphorical flowcharts. It's hard to understand the human brain, or any brain really. Sometimes the easiest way to understand something complicated is to look at something stupid. So on that note, I hope you now understand outbursts a bit better. Hopefully you'll never have, a, have to witness one, but you never know what you may come across. So, it's good for, bye from me, and meow from Dennis. P.S. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.